What's up guys, and I'm here with you for a, another video on Microsoft 365. Today I'm going to go over Microsoft Stream and how to add a form or a quiz to a video that you upload. So before I get started though, when I was going through Microsoft Stream, there is an important announcement that came out as of August of 2021 that says that my, Microsoft Teams recordings will now be stored in a Microsoft SharePoint or OneDrive. So that's an important change because prior to these meeting recordings were automatically saved to Microsoft Stream. And now you can still sync it to your Microsoft Stream through the back end and through an administrator portal. But going forward, any new uh, recordings of, of your meetings will actually be stored in SharePoint, which is kind of dangerous if you ask me in terms of storage capacity. You could run out of storage really, really quickly. So I will show you how to upload a video to Microsoft Stream today and then how to add a quiz to it so you can quiz members or, or to add a form to gather feedback or, or whatever you want to do. Basically, we're going to sync Microsoft Stream and we're going to sync Microsoft Forms, put them together so that you can do whatever it is that you want to do with them. So, but before all that, before we get started, go to office.com so you can follow along, and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so I'm going to bring up a demo environment where we have uh, Microsoft SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, Stream all pulled up. So I do have uh, this demo environment. I'll bring it up full screen for you. There we go. So in here, I'm going to go into Microsoft Stream. And so in order to get here, in any in, from any area in Microsoft 365, you go to the waffle, or you could just go to office.com. And then here on your office.com landing page, you're going to click the waffle up here in the top left. That's going to show you all of your different applications. We're going to find stream kind of looks like this paper airplane looking guy. So we're going to go ahead and click stream. Stream will open up this. So essentially stream is kind of like YouTube. It's kind of like an internal YouTube for, for businesses. So it uses your videos, organizes them through your Microsoft 365 groups. So you can create playlists, you can create channels, uh, which channels are different than Teams channels. These are stream channels, similar to like a YouTube channel, where you can create playlists and stuff like that for, for members. So if you have a sales and marketing channel, for instance, you could have a marketing playlist and a sales play playlist and a whatever playlist to have different videos organized so members of your team will be able to watch them. So that's an important note, right? There are a difference between Teams channels and stream channels, but they both use Microsoft 365 groups. Confused yet? Don't worry, we'll keep going. And I will make sure I clear this up for you. So here in Microsoft Stream, you have created a video, you downloaded a recording of an important training that you want everybody to have access to. So you're gonna go up here and you're gonna go create and you're gonna click upload a video. So once we click that, we're gonna click browse and you're gonna choose a video. I'm gonna choose this uh, video that I had uh, recorded prior to. I'm gonna choose English. And I'm going to hit save. So this is going to bring up a couple different things. So you can name the video. So this just happened to be a Microsoft SharePoint video. I'll keep it. What is it? That's fine. You can add a little description of the video. Then we can um, change the language. It's going to give you a thumbnail you can do as well. Then there's permissions. And so permissions is probably the most important part here because like I said, it utilizes Microsoft 365 groups. So you can give individual permissions, which is right here, the share with people. So if you choose people, you're going to be sharing through individuals. So I can find uh, Adele and I could grant Adele access directly, or I could choose groups. And this is actually going to choose your Microsoft 365 groups that are the same as your teams. So if we find SOC team, we know that that exists. So we're here in Microsoft Teams, SOC team. We go over here and we type in SOC. And then there's SOC team. So we could do it that way as well. That's how you're able to grant groups and people. The, the other one here is channels. So Channels are channels that you create within stream where you can organize these videos. And this is how you would be able to send a video to a specific channel. So I'll search to see if there's any channels here. It doesn't look like there's any channels created. So I could create a channel. 
And by creating a channel, I am essentially using uh, the platform to organize the videos in a better way. So I'm just going to call this uh, company training. All right, and we can do either a company wide or a group channel. I'm going to change that. Oh, because it's bugging me. And I'm going to make this a company wide, but a group channel would you would just select the 365 group. So this is Contoso. So we could just search for Contoso, which is actually the, the company wide. But instead of doing that, you can just choose company wide and everybody would have access. Then you would choose the custom channel logo. So we can click any. Let's use let's use a, a surface device because why not? But you could put your company logo. You could do whatever you want there. Right. So that is how you would create a channel. And then after creating it, it should add it to. So now we see company wide channel there. Uh, added. So we have just added an individual, we've added a group, and we've added company wide. So company wide would trump all of it, but you know, we did what we did. <laughs> you can turn off comments if you want. You can turn noise suppression on. You can do captions. Uh, I'm going to leave that as default. We're going to hit publish. Now, while this is publishing, we do have to wait because it is taking the video that we just published and it's uploading it similar to, like I said, this is like YouTube for business and you can use your permissions to create internal video content for your members. So I'm going to go home while it does that. And then I'm going to go into my content and uh, I'm going to go into channels and then we see company training, right? So that is, again, home. I went home. So this is my homepage where I can see different things and I see company training is here. I also see the information technology has some stuff. Looks like there's already a couple of videos up here already cool, but we're gonna go into company training. Oh, that video is still uploading. So you know what, let's, let's use one that, that's already there. So how about we use information technology? Let's see if there's any videos here. And there is. So we'll say that, uh, this it looks like a product hype session. So if we click on this, we see this video. And so within the video, it actually builds out a transcript. And so within the transcript, we could scroll down and find uh, a piece where they're talking about, okay, equipment of the, for the past decade. So we can click on that and see it actually skipped to that point in the meeting. So we could say pictures to be printed out, printed from a camera. Uh, see, it just skips right ahead. So these innovations works expanded. So if there's something that in particular that you're looking for within a meeting, this transcript is is extremely uh, is ex extremely helpful. Now, hopefully, my video has uploaded and it has. So we're going to go into this, and I see this video, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And now over here in the right, the transcript is still processing. Um, so we'll have to give that time, but I just showed you the transcript on another video. But what we care about for this video is Microsoft Forms, right? So if this was a training and we wanted to make sure that people understood, we click on interactivity and we can add a form. Now there's a few things here. So you can See how it says from a URL. So what we can do is we can we can click on this little guy and that will open up Microsoft Forms. Or if you already had the form, you can simply paste it there. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on that rectangle and we're going to go into Microsoft Forms and we're going to create a, a feedback form. So this is a new form and we're just going to say feedback for a video. Add a little description. This is a If I could spell. And we could add, even add a, a picture here if we wanted to and just say feedback. Here we go. Now, within Microsoft Forms, there's a couple different options in which you can create, uh, you know, ways that people can gather information. And that is you can do a choice field, which we'll do that. So we'll say choice field and we'll say yes. And then look how it auto populates. It says no. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, we can make it required. And we can add an, a text field. You'd say text field. And that would just make this a simple text where they have to write something. We can have, say, you know, 
a question as far as rating, we could say, what's your opinion on this training? I'll tell you what, my spelling is not the best today, guys. Uh, and that could be a star rating. It could be uh, a number rating. We'll leave it as number rating. And then there's a couple other options in here that I, that I won't really go into. This this these, these three are good for this. And so then what we're going to do is we're actually going to go up um, into share, and then we could say only people in my organization can respond, but you can you could actually say anyone can respond. So for whatever reason, if you wanted to share this out to more people, then just watch the video. But let's use an organization because fun fact about stream, uh, only people in your organization can watch stream. So making it so anybody can respond wouldn't really do you any good now, would it? So uh, we're going to go back into the stream video. Here we are. We copied the URL from the feedback right here. We can shorten the URL if we want. And we're going to hit copy. And then we're going to hit paste. We can name the form. And we could say video feedback form. And then we can position it on the timeline, which enter a valid address. Why are you doing that to me? I'm just gonna not, I'm not going to shorten it and see what, there we go. They didn't like it when I shortened it, that's interesting. And so then I can scroll to the point of the video in which I want the form to show up. So if this is a feedback form, I probably want their feedback towards the end of the video. So I'm gonna scroll all the way to the end and I'm gonna add it to the timeline. And so now you can see at nine minutes and 19 seconds, that form is gonna pop up. So. Let's go to nine minutes and 18 seconds or 16. And then there it is, boom. Feedback form pops up and we could say, hey, you know, choice field, yes. And then we can go down here, text field. And then we can say this training was great. And then we click submit. And then there we have it continue back to the video and then they can watch the rest of the video so you could break up videos to say you know ask them a couple of questions about a training say you know before you move on with the rest of your training i want you to pass such and such quizzes and then they would have to take four different quizzes if you have chapters or whatever and then those responses are actually collected in microsoft forms so we could go back into microsoft forms I see there was one response and we could make a quiz and we would see people's quiz results and say how it is that they did. Um, but yeah, and we can export this to Excel if we wanted to and, and share the results. We could bring this into Power BI. There's a lot of different cool things that we could do here. Um, but this is how you would make a form and share it into a video for training. And we get, I got that question a few different times from a group and uh, a group of you that were that were wanting to to know how to do this, how to create a reusable um, quiz or a reusable form to be used for your videos. Well, there you have it. So hopefully you guys got a lot of a lot out of this video. If you have any other questions, I'm going to answer them. So this video is proof of that. Um, I'll try to keep them as uh, as high level as possible. Something like this. I'm a real example that you guys can follow along and work with me on. But if you have any questions, hit me in the comments. Don't forget to turn the turn the bell on, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I really appreciate you guys hanging out. Please, 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 please subscribe, like, and comment. That would be a great deal. And until next time, guys, see you.